Greetings, family. This is Bomani Tamba, and welcome to our Ghana conference call. Uh, this is for the 24th Journey of a Lifetime to Ghana, and that is set for July 11th to the 23rd of 2024. Today's date is October 29th, uh, so we're several uh, months away from the journey. So what we always like to do is just uh, go over all the details and uh, just see who's interested and build a group. That way we can have a nice big bus. That way we can have a nice uh, luxury uh, journey around the country of Ghana. Uh, so I'm going to get into all the details as far as this, uh, what we've been doing in Ghana as far as the last 17 years, as far as Africa for the Africans. We just completed our 23rd Journey for Lifetime, which have a whole lot of highlights on our social pages. And that is our, our Ghana journey, uh, May 2023, which is our 23rd Journey for Lifetime to Ghana. So this is what we do as far as a program, uh, get uh, those who are looking to travel, live, do business or invest in Africa, uh, primarily uh, Ghana. Uh, we have a set up a uh, nice presentation as far as business and investment conference and a whole lot of networking and uh, this uh, nice itinerary that takes you around the country uh, from daytime and uh, we always have options for nightlife or evening networking. So those are the things that we have set up to this, get us connected and keep uh, building that bridge and building the future on the African continent. Uh, so definitely wanna make sure that any, if anyone have any questions, they just uh, make sure you just jot your questions down and we can uh, definitely go through it. Uh, so what I always wanna do is just go through all of the uh, documentation, but the main thing that I wanna talk about uh, tonight is uh, the mainly the uh, tour itinerary and the uh, tour book and a few other things in reference to um, uh, specifically uh, Ghana. And all these things that I talk about, uh, everyone have access to it as far as this, you know, on the website or as far as just seeing the highlights on any of the uh, social uh, network pages from Facebook, uh, YouTube, Instagram, and also our uh, TikTok. So that's uh, the best we can do as far as sharing uh, information as far as a vivid or vibrant experience in Africa. So I'm going to start off with our screen sharing from our website so I can just go to uh, those details. All right, so this is our website, africaforafricans.org. Uh, so it's a website uh, that uh, we're talking about celebrating 17 years of the journey of a lifetime um, across um, the eight plus African countries that we have done tours with uh, on and also the uh, 10 countries in general that have traveled to an African continent. So these are highlights from the social gathering, history, uh, cultural sites, uh, us networking, us uh, enjoying adventures and so on. Let's try to mix up the experiences, show everyone this a balanced experience of us in Africa. Um, and it's just documented for, you know, from going back as far as 2004, uh, traveling to Senegal and also traveling to Egypt. Uh, so th those are the, uh, layout that we have and if anyone wants to see full photo galleries uh all those full photo galleries and once i scroll down to the website you see all the social pages on the left and also on the main page uh, but facebook have all of the galleries instagram and a few other uh, pages have selected our photos and just like uh, youtube have all of the you know like all of the videos and other pages have selected videos so that's the documentation that we share because there's only so much we can put on the website so the website does have selected amount of photos and has shown us around the country and shown us with our staff, our crew, and us just showing the, um, you know, the beautiful, cultural, vibrant life of uh, you know, Ghana and all the different countries. So once you scroll down, the first thing you see on the left is uh, Black Star Repatriation and Pan-African Community. So as far as the itinerary, um, you know, in the middle of the itinerary, we'll do a tour and you'll be able to visit the actual, uh, the 15 and the 60 acres. You see the, the homes that are built and the homes that are going up and you'll see this, uh, the growth and energy of the town itself. And uh, we'll also just uh, tour around Winneba and go down to also the beach area of the town. So that's a future development that we're putting our energy into now uh, to build it for the long term, to have an incredible sustainable community in town where we can you know, put our energy together and you know, compete and also just create um, more opportunities for our children and also connect better with our people there in Ghana and create opportunities for uh, the, the town. Uh, so 
so far so good. Uh, that's been four years. And as you go along, you just work on as many things as you can get done in place. And the biggest thing is the goal is to organize more of an infrastructure development. All right. So that's going to be on a journey and scroll down uh, the tour books. And I'll, I will also open up one of the tour books. I have one in PDF form, uh, but once you click on a link, it does give you a highlight of all of the uh, tour, not all of the tour books, but selected tour books of different countries, uh, primarily the uh, updated versions. And it's a full program guide of uh, all the things that we have as far as the highlights of the schedule from hotels to what we do in the country, to just introductions and things like that. And also whatever we're marketing or sharing. Uh, anyone interested in connecting with us uh, can also just sign up for the newsletter. And further down, Af Africa Repatriation Consultation and Relocation Support. So um, I try to be as real and honest with everyone that just want to make these moves and things like that. And you know, for those who are looking to just have that conversation, you can reach out anytime and my goals get you prepared. And that's based on my experience uh, from you know, getting people to set up, live and do business in Africa as of 2007. Uh, so it's just a journey that's uh, with this billing experience. And right, so once you uh, scroll down, uh, you'll see the, the Ghana journey. That's uh, Ghana repatriation investment journey, July 2024. And you can also click on it uh, right here in the main menu area. And I'm going to scroll down and then get back up to the uh, Ghana page where we just go through the uh, details as far as the overview and the itinerary and then just explain what else is on the page. And scrolling down, uh, it gives you update on the uh, general conference calls. Um, and that's just all the countries where I just do my best to do an overview and just keep everybody posted and also focus on whatever journey we, that we're leaving out on currently. So the links and details are always there for updates. And for those who want to connect with me on WhatsApp, and that's just a general uh, link open, especially if someone just on the website and they're in a different country. So to the left and in, in the middle of the page, those are the links to all of the social pages. Uh, we can see highlights and see this the, uh, our different presentations as far as this, our energy, as far as Africa for Africans in this connecting the African diaspora to the African continent. And below all of the links, uh, you'll see a history of all of the uh, tours that we have done on the Africa for Africans. And that started with the uh, Ghana December 2006 journey. And the last journey we did was uh, Ghana May 2023. So that represents uh, 23 uh, journeys to Ghana and then the rest of the countries uh, uh, make up the 30 plus uh, journeys. Uh, but that's our foundation, that's our setup. That's where we're looking to you know, build a, a future, build a connection, build a headquarters, build a a base of operations to you know, assist in the repatriation movement, which is what we always was pushing for. Uh, so little by little, we're getting there and with the energy and the support of people coming back and forth and doing things uh, that has changed the dynamics. So these are some of our previous groups. I'll just go through some of them and then I'll get back to our, our itinerary and then uh, go to key details on itinerary and the overview. Uh, so that's uh, one of our many group photos, and that is at uh, Independence Square. Uh, so what you see in the back is uh, Black Star, and you know, that's the a whole complex. And when you talk about Independence, uh, that's the, the highlight area. Uh, so got lots of great videos on that entire uh, area and a lot of history information. And scrolling on past Senegal and Gambia was our last uh, Ghana journey in December. Uh, which is you now working the schedule to where we can just work other countries, but uh, want to make certain distance in the Ghana schedule to where we can just have a nice big group uh, versus splitting groups every six months of 16 to 18 people. Uh, looking to get a nice big core group of us, uh, fit on a nice comfortable bus. So we can take you around the country and do our incredible presentations as we were doing before the COVID-19 era. So you just keep on scrolling down. You see a whole lot of uh, Ghana journeys, but in between uh, you see uh, Tanzania, Senegal, Gambia, uh, Brazil, Ethiopia, Togo, Benin, and other countries.
So 20, 2017 was the year that's begin doing a whole lot of multiple uh, countries. Uh, but uh, before that, it was just mainly Ghana once a year. Uh, so once we scroll down, you just, and that's uh, all Ghana and one Ghana, Togo and Benin. So that is the foundation energy. All right, so once you click on the Ghana tour link, uh, all of these articles pop up. So I'm gonna do a quick overview on all the articles and then we go into our overview. Uh, so overview, I uh, have all of the prices, uh, what's included, what's not included. And uh, there's uh, direct de details of all of the highlights of what we're gonna be visiting. Itinerary, uh, full day-to-day de -day, uh, details, including the links to all the hotels and just uh, the flow of the uh, schedule. Uh, general terms, um, uh, give you just a full flow of this, uh, the general terms of the uh, journey itself, as far as cancellations, refunds, as far as situational base, uh, what we are responsible for, what we're not responsible for, things like that. And just uh, giving everyone an energy of just understand that, make sure that uh, you're clear on things. And then whatever the situation is, you can always talk with me. And my goal is to always just get you on another journey, work things out for you. Things do happen. And just want everyone to come focus, organize, and just ready this to where, you know, everyone could be a good energy to everyone else that's coming on a group journey. Uh, so uh, those are some of the things that it uh, talks about. Um, and just want everyone to just read through these articles. Uh, visa information. Uh, once you're ready to do the uh, Ghana visa, just reach out to me and I'll email you an updated version of the Ghana visa. And that visa have attached details as far as the full uh, application where you, know, you can just either copy what I have or you can just modify what I have as far as on your own um, you know, online uh, application. And then all of the details as far as contacts and the people that you need to just fill out as far as putting the phone numbers, address, GPS location, uh, all those things that are uh, right there set, uh, right there on the uh, visa email. And then if you run into issues and you have problems, uh, reach out to me. I've helped people with visa from the beginning of what we've been doing. And it's a process that it's simple for some people uh, as detailed and organized that we have it, but uh, it's not as simple for everyone. And especially if you are not using computers or you don't have access to certain things. So whatever the situation is, I always have a game plan to get it worked out. And if you need help with your passport, things like that, uh, we can just get you help. Uh, you can just reach out to me and we just go through it. Uh, simple ways to do the passport process, uh, things like that. Um, then, you know, residency in the country and I can't help you get um, citizenship, but once we build more for our energy and Black Star Pan African community, uh, we'll be able to just uh, be more in a, a good situation to uh, be able to just acquire citizenship and things like that. So those are our game plans to just get you connected, prepared, and ready for our Ghana. And it all starts with you getting a Ghana visa. Uh, language translation tree. Uh, so for those who are looking to learn the language, just have some basic translation. And you can also encourage a tour guide. And I can also encourage them. Uh, for those who want to just you know, go back and forth as far as just a few uh, daily words and things like that. Uh, tour preparation list. So this is a list of 30 things. And this is one of my key lists that I put together to where it's, um, you know, it, it summarizes you just getting ready for your journey, uh, meetup location, baggage information, um, any kind of health concerns, uh, what to pack, what to bring, uh, key things that you need, and this, uh, things that you just may overlook how to get things organized and just have things ready. So that's a nice preparation list. Uh, so we've gone through that preparation list on previous uh, conference calls and things like that, uh, whether we use in Ghana or a different country. But it's a key thing when you get looking to get ready, uh, that list you know, gets you, you know, it gets you flowing to where even if it doesn't have everything that you think about, um, you, know, you won't forget anything. Uh, but as time go along, anything I can think about that would help everyone get prepared, clear, organized, I put on that list and, and we just keep on updating all of the files. But as of now, everything on the website is uh, completely updated. All right, so let me uh, click on the, uh, and do the tour itinerary first. Mm -hmm.
All right, so our Ghana Repatriation Investment Tour uh, is July 11th to the 23rd, 2024. And I always tell everyone that's uh, looking at the journey, the name as far as repatriation investment is an encouragement to connect people to looking to live, do business, and invest in Africa. But beyond that, uh, the, the one or two programs that we have, it's a full, incredible journey. Uh, anything dealing with investment, whether it's Black Star or whether it's a business conference, it's something that you can join and you can just listen in and you can learn and you can share. Uh, our goal is always to just encourage us to just, um, you, know, you know, take it to the next level. Um, at one, one point, you know, we had many great scholars that was doing Roots and Culture Tour and, you know, we took it to a level to where it's, um, it's a connection to repatriation and investment and this us just, you know, making a stronger connection with Africa uh, as far as building a global black business pipeline and this getting us plugged in. Um, and do what everyone else is doing now, this uh, world of global networking. All right, so uh, day one, Thursday, July 11th. Uh, so um, wherever you're traveling from, that's my goal to get you tickets. Uh, that's always the goal. If time go long and we're limited, then, you know, we're, we're limited. But uh, I'll always try to work out the best situation uh, for you. Uh, but uh, for those of us uh, that are in Atlanta, uh, we'll leave from Atlanta. And for everyone else, you're going to leave from where you are and your connection point is uh, Amsterdam. Uh, so we'll all meet up in Amsterdam and it talks about a meetup point in Atlanta, but uh, day two, July uh, 12th, uh, once uh, you know, we get to Amsterdam in the uh, late afternoon, um, we just have a meetup time. Um, meetup time is usually about hour and a half to two hours before we travel. Uh, so that's 1.30. And then all of us physically will be just there in Amsterdam. And uh, for those who we have other accommodations for that are either coming early or doing other things. Uh, we'll work out airport pickups and things like that for you. So uh, those are the flexibilities that we have, but the core group of people, uh, we'll just meet up at one location. So that's our goal to make uh, that uh, situation work. And then from there on, we just uh, connect together and uh, you know, we'll make our journey to Ghana. And once you get to Ghana, you just you know, go through passport control and um, everyone get their bags. And then we'll just organize in a certain location right by baggage claim. And then our drivers, our welcome crew uh, will be right out front uh, waiting for us. And then they'll escort us to the bus. And then we're on our way about a 15 minute drive uh, to uh, MJ Grand in Isogon. And that is uh, a nice fancy new street where you know, modern day infrastructure and MJ Grand has been around since around 2011. And it is, you know, they've maintained uh, their energy at MJ Grand so that'll be a nice uh, energy to uh, connect. And then it's um, you know, basically the end of the night. So you get yourself organized and set and ready for the morning. And uh, day three, Saturday, July 13th, uh, we're going to take you up to the mountains. So for those who have school supplies and things like that, uh, or want to make financial donations, um, uh, this is one of the days that we have set up uh, where we have a school slash orphanage. Uh, so this uh, journey, I uh, want you to uh, enjoy your breakfast. Uh, we'll get ourselves organized to where we leave at 8 30 is the ready time so estimated about nine o'clock i will leave and so usually about 45 minutes so one hour drive it's saturday so the traffic uh, should be good uh, so once we uh, uh get up to the mountains um you know there's few historical sites that we'll pass by you know we talk about uh there's a location right there in avery uh, which is a former um studio one uh, foundation of our uh, Rita Marley. Uh, that's that's location is, uh, since then um, bought by someone recently. Uh, so it's still a highlight there. But uh, the main thing beyond that is the foundation, or uh, the Rita Marley Foundation. So you see that also. And then uh, while we're there in Avery, uh, our goal is to stop to where I always want to make sure that we organize ourselves for uh, lunch. So we'll stop and organize ourselves for lunch at uh, one of the restaurants, uh, usually it's Hillbury, um, that we can just enjoy just a nice uh, landscape and just a uh, view uh, of the mountains. Um, and so once we place our order, we'll head up uh, further to the mountains to Tutu. That's where we'll go to um, the uh, Trinity Home um, Academy. And that is uh, where we've been going to as far as donating school supplies and showing love and just building energy. And that's just been in, in existence since 2007, just you know, consistently. So you'll see this the difference from the first location to the new location where you'll see that people are donating and you know, you'll, you'll see structures going up and you know, they're building a nice academy there. So that's part of our connection uh, in Ghana. You, know, you can only visit so many schools and do so many things, but this, that's one of uh, one 
of two to three different schools that we visit. So if you have school supplies, you can split it um, and you know we'll usually just work it out. And if you have, you know, and if you just want to bring donations, that's fine. And if you just want to this video for the shooting videos and for this uh, support to share the energy, uh, all of those things have helped. Uh, so that's one of our great programs that we are proud of as far as our connection. So once we finish uh, Trinity, uh, we're going to head down to the um, wood carbon village and also the uh, botanic garden to take a nice uh, walk around and you know get a nice history of the uh, botanic gardens. Uh, so once we are finished from there uh, or in between, uh, we'll just uh, break for our lunch and then we'll close out by, with a nice tour at the uh, university campus of Ghana. And then we'll get ourselves organized for a nice uh, welcome dinner. So I have only a jam rock, uh, but I have a new location that I'm working to get confirmed. So that will be changed. Uh, but nevertheless, you know, we'll give you a nice uh, Ghanaian incredible welcome dinner and welcome energy and it's a uh, sad day so we just make it this as fruitful and energetic as possible so hopefully everyone is rested uh, by the time they start the journey as you see we're on the move but uh, in between this you know get your rest uh day four um uh, we're gonna head to ningo uh prom prom era so that's one of the incredible areas where you find a nice energy of uh, africans from the diaspora uh, or mainly african-americans that's lived there settled and a bit of nice energy. And one of them is my good friend, Jerry Johnson. So we'll visit the uh, African ancestral wall and we'll also have lunch there. And, you know, you can just get a nice presentation of the uh, area. It's uh, incredible and it's uh, this incredible presentation. I've recorded many times over, uh, but it's always this incredible just being there. So that's one of the highlights. And I have uh, another good uh, friend, Craig Norman. He has another development there um, that, uh, you know, that has incredible infrastructure and it's being set up it's called Stadium View Estate. So that's one of my partners there. So uh, the goal is to just share with anyone that just want to see you know, another development going up. And this is before you get to our Black Star community. Uh, so those are things that we're putting in place to just assist people as best as possible and make things simpler, make things uh, work out. And these are things you just learn from this, the years of just figuring things out and going through certain things to where you build a network of us to where we can help each other. And just you know, make things that work as more and more people are looking to live and do business in uh, Ghana. And uh, some people are coming and they are not prepared. So this is a part of our preparation energy also. And so once we finish there um, in uh, Pram Pram Ningo, uh, we're going to just uh, journey back to the hotel and we usually have a nice little setup for a nice little pool party, a social energy. So for those who want to come out, uh, socialize and enjoy the social energy. And our goal is to have uh, dinner either inside the restaurant or outside by the pool bar area. Uh, so, you know, it's from one flow of energy to the next. And then some more social energy uh, later on for those who just want to socialize, whether it's cards, dominoes. Uh, it's a pool bar area. So, you know, good place to socialize after a long uh, day of touring. And you know, network with more of uh, our associates traveling with us. And so for the first four nights, I was staying at MJ Grand. All right, so day five, uh, Monday, July 15th, our cross city tour and also our repatriation investment uh, business conference. Uh, so we're going to head out early um, after 8.30 and just want everyone to just be ready around that time. So. Estimated time, usually about nine o'clock. Uh, so we just make a nice little tour around um, all of the historical city uh, parts of Accra. So that's uh, including uh, Kwame Nkrumah Memorial Park, which is going to be an incredible highlight because it's a new, modern, updated uh, presentation. So that's going to be incredible. This, this will be our first time seeing it since it was, it was opened uh, this summer. Right? Uh, the Arts and Culture Center, so you can do all your shopping there. Uh, Independence Square, a um, lot of great highlights. Uh, George Padmore Library and W.E.B. Du Bois. And uh, once we finish our city tour, uh, we're, just, we're gonna have a dinner at the restaurant at MJ Grand, and then we'll transition over to our business and investment conference. And so it's a whole lot of networking for that night. And for those who are open for socialization, a good thing is a nice social um, neighborhood to where we just usually just go somewhere close for social energy or just stay right there at the hotel. So I just want to create an uh, incredible atmosphere for us while we're in Accra. And those are the uh, four days uh, in Accra. 
And as we uh, move on to the next uh, direction now, we're going to leave uh, day six, Tuesday, and we're going to visit our Black Star Pan-African community and do that incredible tour of the 15 to 60 acres and also take you down by the beach and also just show you different parts of the town and also uh, the historical parts of uh, Winneba. And then we're going to get ourselves uh, settled uh, there at um, uh, One Africa Resort. And we have another option, uh, Carrick Hotel. So those are on there. So uh, for those who travel with me, I will definitely uh, talk about which options work uh, best for you. And if I work out a different option, uh, I'll definitely let you know. So um, all of these things are in place uh, for now, but the goal is to you know make any necessary updates and make sure everyone is uh, comfortable. Uh, but uh, One Africa is a great place for all of our great presentation, uh, incredible um, uh, dining for, uh, for the few days that we're there. And uh, it's a great location to move from Cape Coast to Elmina for all the circle places that we're gonna be visiting. Uh, so as we uh, flow on to the next uh, two days uh, in um, Cape Coast, Elmina, we have one day, um, which is day seventh, where we're just gonna visit the African Holocaust. So, and then we we'll also do a naming ceremony in the, in the evening. So uh, it's um, try to break it to where, you know, once you get back, you can just get your energy going and then we just, resume in the evening for dinner and do a name and ceremony. Uh, but the African Holocaust presentation, very intense, very detailed, and um, it's an incredible presentation. So there's nothing else on the schedule other than those two events. And uh, day eight, Thursday, uh, we're going to visit. Um, now we'll do the school donations at One Africa, um, unless we can get the children of Akoma to be around. Um, and it's going to be in summertime. So those are the um those are the next two options as far as our school donations and we just usually just mix them together and split them between the community at one africa and also out uh, of school uh, for those who are just are interested in um the canopy walk or just looking to just enjoy one of those incredible adventure uh, and i'll present you the kakum national park so those are the last set of videos that i've uploaded for my last uh, ghana journey and some people look at it as terrifying. Some people look at it as fun, excitement, and excited um, adventure. But uh, it's, you know, it's it's a good experience. But if you just want to chill and re relax at a resort, uh, it's a perfect time to re relax, get your massages, and you know, kick back and enjoy the the beach scenery there um, at the resort. Uh, so you know, very flexible schedule. And we're gonna close on the last uh, three days in uh, uh, Kumasi. So before we head to Kumasi, uh, we have Asin Manso, so that's another African Holocaust uh, site, and uh, it's an incredible presentation, and that's about about you know anywhere from forty five minutes to an hour once uh, we leave uh, uh, we leave Elmina, and so that's our presentation uh, where we just dress in the uh, Pan African colors, red, black, green, and gold, and just enjoy a nice presentation and just reconnect to our ancestors, and then from there we we'll just take you to either uh, this one is set for Mickelin, we we'll, uh, take you to Gola or if, we find another option that's yeah, even, even better, then we just switch to that option. Uh, so once we are settled there, we just have our dinner and then we just get ready for next uh, two days of um, incredible um, uh, touring. So uh, day 10 now, uh, we we'll visit, visit a lot of different uh, craft villages and craft centers, and it's an incredible day of shopping. And then we have a break for uh, lunch at Ike's Cafe. So I Ike's Cafe uh, represent uh, an incredible experience. Uh, so if you're into more traditional food or if you just want uh, international food, it's uh, there and it's just a great relaxing environment. So we have that set for both days. And in the evening we have set for you know, a pool party or just nice social energy. Uh, but uh, day 11, as we come into a close, uh, we have the Palace Museum, which is an incredible presentation. It's um, It's been rebuilt um, and uh, set to where, you know, it's, you have a nice presentation and also you can also do some shopping there at um, right inside the uh, museum area and also if you need more shopping when we head back to Ike's Cafe the cultural center is just right there uh, right connected to Ike's Cafe so you can do more shopping so those are the um, you know the closeout days and then you know we're going to head back to Accra the next day and we just have a nice farewell dinner and we just enjoy the moment enjoy the times and for those who are staying back longer uh, we do our best to get you accommodated, set up, or get you dropped off at an ideal location, which is either the, the airport or the uh, hotel. And we can just work other options for you and get you any assistance that you need. So that is uh, the flow of the uh, schedule. And um, definitely take your time and look to if you're interested 
and want to see what we do on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, so the next thing we'll go over is a quick overview, and then we're just going to click on a few of the social pages, show you, and then we're going to... I'm going to open things up for questions. And so this is a tour overview, um, full date details, a full price of uh, included with uh, you know, flights and without flights, and then additional options uh, for single supplement. Uh, the tours, uh, all the tours that I include, there's transportation and tours that's throughout Ghana. Uh, as far as daily exercise and meditation, that's what we recommend that you come out and do. And always looking to just get a volunteer to come out. And if not, then just enjoy the free flow of this exercise and meditation. And our cry is an incredible walk in our neighborhood in East Ogon. So you can walk out. You can also just stretch out by the pool. And those are just the things that uh, we encourage. Uh, daily continental breakfast is uh, included and gourmet dinner. Uh, so all of the hotels that uh, we're staying at uh, we, uh, and other outside options as far as restaurant will provide uh, uh, the gourmet dinner and the hotels will provide uh, continental uh, breakfast. Uh, so that is uh, the setup to where uh, the thing that's not included in, in is, is lunch. So as I talk about Ike's Cafe, if you see certain things that uh, you just want to try out more traditional, it's not on the gourmet menu. Uh, when you when we have menus, it's uh, use it as a time to order those things. Yeah. Right, and all of the accommodations are based on double occupancy. Uh, so remember, if you need a single room by yourself, this um the single sup supplement is the option that I have. Uh, business and investment conferences. One of the main thing that I always try to just make sure we organize, and this is for the uh, Ghana and the uh, Liberia journey uh, that we do. Uh, just pushing more energy along the coast of West Africa. So I always want to make sure that we have good representation from the uh, business conference of people who can talk about uh, land investment, uh, anything in reference to real estate, uh, uh, attorneys talking about business administration, and just uh, general people that have lived and do business in Ghana from the uh, diaspora that can sh share uh, a few key points. Uh, so that's uh, the goal. Is. The goal is just to um, uh, share information and just put documentation out and uh, with all these things, along with other people doing, it just creates a better connection for us to so just really just do many things in Africa. So, you know, we're just part of that uh, energy. Uh, so as we talk about visa fees are not included and any sites you go to where you have to pay for camcorder or, or cameras, it's a very minimal uh, fee, but I put on all of the tours that we have because I never know which sites uh, may pop up or change things. It's not uh, the easiest thing to keep up with. But for the most part, uh, it's not something that uh, people bother with uh, you with uh, if you have your phone and you're recording or taking photos. But if you do have a professional camcorder or camera, it may be a situation. So, you know, you either just pay the fee or you just you know, revert back to your phone. Uh, as far as the visa, I always recommend the uh, multiple entry. Uh, it's good for almost up to five years or, up to, or one to five years, I should say. And the single entry is just only uh, for three months and also visa and arrival, which is available. You pay the same as the uh, singles, you know, as the multiple entry, but it's only good for you know, about three months. Uh, so that's why I always recommend everyone just get their visas uh, ahead of time and just do it during uh, two to three months. It only takes about 10 days. And the process that we have, we just make it nice and smooth. So these are the things that we talk about uh, as far as the, um, the four days in uh, Accra, uh, three days in, in the central region, and then three days in the Ashanti region. And one of one of you know, a few of our exciting uh, group photos. So if I may switch to a few different things, uh, this is a um, TikTok page. So TikTok page page is a little more vibrant as far as a mix of different videos and this uh, showing different presentations. So it's uh, one of my new energy just to share more details. Uh, but uh, as far as Instagram and Facebook and YouTube, all those things are just been in works for a while and it's building them. So nice uh, presentation. Uh, so anyone that's into TikTok or <laughs> doing these things on your phone, uh, it's you know, something you know, that's uh, interesting. It's uh, not a bad option, especially if you're looking for information. So I try to spread out the videos as best as possible and show us just doing all different uh, things in this. Uh, try to mainly just also show this 
energy of paradise and the energy of this us uh this moving and connecting and this our version is showing you the journey of a lifetime uh, so the youtube uh this is one of my uh, new intros that i have uh, that are created uh, so this new presentations and then these are the list of all the videos so you just click on video or play all and it's uh, over uh, 3,900 videos. So it's just a lot of documentation. Some videos are very short, some are long. Uh, the live streams are long, uh, but then you have other short videos, very short. So just a multitude of just videos of different uh, segments. And then all, these are all of the playlists from all of the previous uh, journeys to Ghana and all the other countries. And if uh, anyone interested in updates on Black Star, Pan-African community, and that is one of the updates uh, linked to where you're going to see all of the four years of documentation and see us going from a jungle or forest to just you know, building a um, basic uh, setup uh, to where you know we can just build further. And then when you sc uh, scroll down, there's more multi uh, multiple uh, playlists. Uh, this is the uh, newsletter that I sent out, and so that has this uh, you know, shareable documentation also, uh, mainly a lot of information that we have uh, went through already. And the last thing I want to show with you, show or share with you before we uh, open things up is um, uh, this uh, incredible um, uh, tour book. So we've been writing these tour books since uh, 2007. And it's one of those things where you know, just consistently updating and trying to create different covers and energy. But uh, this PDF book, uh, once I keep scrolling down, let me just try to see if I can just make it a little bigger. I'll just share with you some of the tour book, but I have it right there on the website and I can, I can also send you a PDF version on WhatsApp, uh, which you can download the PDF version on the website by just clicking on the download link once you click on tour books. So the setup that I have is just um, a main menu just to cover a lot of the things that uh, you know is gonna be in the program. Uh, so this is your table of content, uh, very detailed. And this you know, shows also this, uh, the history of this Ghana and this is all Ghana and this all the things that we're doing. Uh, mission and vision and statement, uh, press release. And so a new one would have, you know, our, our May 2023 uh, tour group, but this is the last two journeys. Um, before we did our current journeys. Uh, so as you can see, a lot of different uh, colors of shirts, uh, trying to blend the colors, trying to keep the energy strong. It's a dedication to some of our ancestors. And this is uh, for, you know, for Marcus Garvey uh, inspiration. And also Kwame Nkrumah inspiration. So once we flow past that, um, then we start getting into our reminders and uh, this you know, full staff and contact list. And presentations as far as this about us. And some of these uh, things may change as far as tour staff and tour people. But this is just some of the energy that we have going so far. And then once you scroll down more to the book, uh, you see this full details as far as all the sites that I talk about. You see highlight photos. This is from the business conference. Uh, with David, um, Sister Imacus, and our connection to One Africa. And our first journey, this is a highlight of two pages, some of the, uh, the, the original photos of this us in Ghana. And this is like, it's a scary looking at yourself. And this is like literally um, 17 years ago. So yeah, time kicks in. And, but uh, this is, you know, one of our proud connections. This, this, this is literally the first time of, um, you know, yeah. Us in Ghana, the sixth journey to the African continent. And these are some of my closest friends that I'm traveling with. And, uh, you know, uh, some of uh, co workers. So from there on, the, the book, this uh, go to full details of this, the uh, tour itself, as far as this presentations, do's and don'ts, but the full itinerary. And you know, once we get closer, whatever changes, you know, the book is usually finalized with all the latest updates and things. And I'm scrolling past this because uh, you know I want to encourage those who are interested to this, 
download the book and check it out. And if I did have multitude of copies, I would love to just give everyone a copy. But uh, the best thing from there are digital copies. So from here on, it just talks about all different regions. And this is an 88 page book, so it's uh, detailed, but it's a lot of history that we have had. And all these tour sites represent there's so many different groups uh, that I don't always remember what year when we took the photo. Let's make this a little bigger. So we talk about Ningo Prom Prom. Uh, so all the things that we literally talk about, uh, you start seeing the, the highlights from the different uh, sites. And you know, nice little brief overview. And unfortunately, this book was not uh, built uh, in one time. So as you go along, our books are here in the, under the coffee table. You'll see the two, uh, 2007 version. And it's like, I want to say it's like 20 something pages. Uh, but you know, it's one of those things we tell you when to you know, start from the ground up and build the documentation. But this is us, us in Ghana. Some of these schools, let me see which one. There's a few schools on there. Uh, we also have one in uh, Jahadzi, uh, in the Black Star community area. Uh, these affirmations and exercises and encouragement, positive motivation. Uh, the language translation, this is the same thing that's on the uh, website. So, so this book represents this, you know, trying to combine a bunch of different files and information, uh, name and ceremony. Uh, the sample certificates, poem, and this um, this energetic uh, this expressions. All right, so we come to more of the close. This this is a business conference uh, that we do, and then these are just notes uh, for business conference, and it talks about investments. Uh, so we may have representation talks talk about investment there from, you know, one of the Ghana uh, investment departments. And that's the investment promotion. Uh, they've been at a few, uh, several conference. And, and it's one of our good sisters that's built a nice uh, eco community there in more of the center part of Ghana. And this is our Black Star Pan African community. You know, some of our first uh, photos and this nice presentation. So that give you a nice little introduction. And then this one of the guides on our website that you can order. And these are some uh, recommended books um, you know, of Sister Imaka's experience in traveling, living and doing business in Africa. So that's um, you know, some of the information in you know, some of our postcards and flyers and schedules. Some of my other uh, associates that uh, we network with is trying to push an energy for repatriation. And us connecting to Africa. So that is, that is our tour book. Uh, so you travel with us, uh, we'll work on the 2024 version and just get you connected. So thanks family for, uh, yeah. For listening to the um, presentation, I uh, don't want to go any further. It's uh, a lot of information we can continue to go over. But want to open things up uh, to see if anyone have any questions about anything that I've talked about or your interest in Ghana or just um, if you want to share your experience on traveling to Ghana. So just um, unmute yourself. Um, uh, give your name, uh, where you're calling from, your question, and just um, uh, what... and. Let us know if you're looking to travel with us or you just, um, just have questions. Hey, Bomani, this is Eric. Hey, greetings, Eric. Appreciate you, brother. How you feeling? I'm feeling all right, man. How you doing? Yes, yes, yes. Um, it's been a few years since our last journey to Ghana. But, you know, as time goes along, we only get better, like fine wine. Yeah, life gets in the way, for sure. Yeah. Um, I, have a, I have cousins that are wanting to go. Again, what I'm getting from them now is uh, what's, you know, I, they might be a bit concerned about the pay schedule now since they feel like they're kind of late and they are kind of late. And another one, I have a cousin that is struggling with 
the passport. All right. Uh, with some some birth certificate issues. So, uh, what is the last just drop dead date? What is when you absolutely can say I can't help you anymore? No, there's no set dates as far as that. Uh, but as far as this, uh, the only thing I would say that that person has to be extremely flexible because that we wouldn't be able to get them tickets. Uh, that's one of the things that's re. But we but they'd have to just get their own separate tickets and pay for the uh, land portion and things like that. And then. They just have to be flexible, you know. If, you know, the hotel is booked up, then you know we'll work things out. So you know, it becomes on th those circumstances. But if somebody's trying to go, I wouldn't deny anyone to go. I, you know, I'll make it flexible for people as possible. Now, now to answer your question directly, with this, uh, giving you an example, um, the closest person that ever traveled with me came on about two days before we traveled. I'm dead serious. Oh wow! Oh, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't encourage it, but. Uh, you know, this person's a little, this person's situation is a little different, but, you know, or a few people came in the same week, but uh, by that time, if I don't have enough people, we'd have already canceled the trip already, just like I did with um, uh, Rwanda and things that I moved forward. But, you know, these Ghana journeys, you know, we usually have enough people to keep the journey going. And then as we add people, the goal is just to you know, literally just get a bigger bus and make it more comfortable. Okay, well, I'm expecting you to have, I, I gave a relative of mine your number. I don't know if he called you or not. Um, and uh, then my sister's so, Mr. Harris? Uh, no, it does not ring a bell. I'm just usually throughout the day just answering and keeping up with people. So mm -hmm. I really I really miss people. Okay. Um, but all right, so I'm, I'm pushing them. I'm pushing them. I'll try to get them to you. If they want me to get them a courtesy call, I can call them. It's just the nature of the business. Um, I keep on uh, getting asked about these big buses, and I'm like, we're going to make it happen. Uh, so I'm doubling yeah. up on this, you know, following up with people and everything. But I don't want to pressure anyone that don't want to go and things like that. That's why I no, show it, that, you know. He wants to come. He, he can't figure out how to work Zell. I've showed him a hundred <laughs> times, but yeah, hey. The, uh, the, the good thing of it is everything we, I do here is all technical and business support. So. Like throughout the day, you know, you live with people and some people may say, why do you have to sit down and help people with those things? I'm like, it's the nature of the business. Um, and, you know, it's kind of like, it's kind of like major company or major corporations, what they have, they have a whole, they have, you know, they have a tech support phone number, you know, but uh, that's, you know, but I just usually do those things for someone. It's as simple as that. Even something as people coming here and filling out passport information and even taking people to go fill out, get passports done. Uh, there's no limitation, but if someone have the eager and the energy to want to go to Africa, experience it, connect, and things like that. I mean, personally, for me, if I was looking at trying to go to Africa, I would just be overwhelmed. Like, I gotta get a passport, I gotta get a visa, I gotta do this, I gotta do that, and it would just, it would just honestly, for me, it would just like make me not want to go. So, um, the goal of myself is just to uh, you know, help people with those things to get them over all of those technical stuff because everything nowadays you gotta fill this out on the phone, on the computer, you gotta type this up, you gotta get this scanned, and a lot of times I just like handle everything here because everything could just be done here as far as this you know so my last my last question is does the conference still take place uh the business conference yes oh yes absolutely it's uh my core energy of it's incredible because based on that conference you know you have this a whole lot of things that you know have just made moved on to where even people are developing their own pan-african community from us just doing those presentations and people are using some of the attorneys that we have but it's uh it's a good way to keep people in a in an energy where they have people that we can you know keep accountable and then you know work together because it's just like anywhere else I know people like 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 literally just be hard on Ghana but it's one of the more popular countries people are moving to so right when people show up and just uh, looking to travel there and they see us coming on these nice jets the more scam artists come out the way the more the more you know the more sh shakedown artists and people come out you know so that's one of our best ways to do it uh, versus. People just not wanted to you know, come to the country and do different things. And as we learn things, when I tell people, I got your back. Once we learn certain things, we're always sharing it. All right, brother. I appreciate it. Oh, absolutely. Hey, but my name is Wayman Jones and Carol Jones. Uh, hey, uh, greetings, Wayman. How are you? Uh, yeah, I like your presentation. Uh, I have several questions uh, about the trip. Uh, what about the like myself, I'm a heart patient, so I and I also carry a uh, what is it a CPAC machine. Is that an issue as far as uh, sleeping and stuff like that, and power to power the machine? 
Uh, no, as far as if you want to know if, if we're going to have access to power the whole time. Okay, okay. okay. Uh, yes, uh, we have access to power more for, the, for the whole time. The only thing I'll say is that if we're in Elmina and the power goes out, they'll keep the generator on. But as far as Akron Kumasi, uh, that's where they keep power flowing as far as that's their prime two uh, locations. Is there any issue bringing, bringing my, I have to bring my medicines and stuff like that. Yeah, I take uh, I take about nine pills a day. That's why I'm asking. <laughs> no, Bob, uh, bring your pills and have all your medical stuff together. Um, you know, with your check, uh, you know, your check bags, and just keep it close to you. And anyone have any questions doing a scan or anything, you have your information there. Okay, so so I could actually carry my CPAC machine on the plane. It won't be an issue. Uh yes. Uh, when it comes to health and things like that, uh, they don't deny you things that's gonna you know keep you going and save your life. So any emergency equipment that anyone needs to bring uh, for the health and wellness, uh, that's, you know, and it's also there in their guidelines as far as the airlines. And they, you know, they wouldn't be wise to not do that. Okay, they, and if we have our passports already, we just need to get the, uh, the confirmation to uh, be accepted in Ghana. Is that what you're saying? As far as Ghana, uh, did you apply for a Ghana visa? Not yet, no. So that's what we need to do, right? Uh, yes, you can do it two to three months before you travel. Um, okay. And if you do it any earlier, uh, you have to do the um, the multiple entry, which is good for one to five years. But the single entry for $60, that's only good for three months. So you have to time it right. You know, we've had those situations. Someone do a single entry early, and then by the time they get uh, to the airport, their single entry is expired, and they can't get on the flight. I mean, it's sad, but... Um, so I just try to make sure and you know, just keep encouraging that because you can easily just look at dates and things like that. So how long does it take? Oh, how long does it take? Uh, it takes about a good ten days. Ten days, okay. It and then also a uh, date to fill out. Okay. Anything else, Karen? Yeah. That's about it. And so we'll probably be trying to catch up with the payments and stuff like that. Okay. All right, excellent. Uh, you can always reach out to me. We can always connect. Uh, you know, we're all okay. both in Georgia. But definitely appreciate you getting on and, and things like that and checking out the details. Okay, I've listened to you several times. You finally convinced me it's worth going. <laughs> I need to come see. I need to come see. Yeah, this is uh yeah, it's uh you try not to be that salesperson, but it's 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 something that when you know when you have people call you all the time and say, you know, when you come in and they, they want you to come, I'm like in order for me to come, I gotta get people to come. I mean I can come <laughs> and, and socialize and hang out, but if you want me to come and bring some energy to where you know you have people purchase your goods or support you or support your hotel, then I got to, you know, get on it. And so just working yeah. on it. So, you know, appreciate it. And, you know, I always tell people if I, if I get too, if I bother them too much, they can always block me. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I have to bother people. I just try to just keep everyone updated and, you know, yeah. with all this technology, all these fancy phones and things, and you just, you're sending updates and you're sharing information. Yeah. That's all I have. All right. Well, appreciate you. Right, so yes. the line is open. Uh, good. Uh, how are you, my dear? Yes, I wanted was to ask: um, Can one invest in um, in real estate or minerals, even though we uh, remain in the U.S. Uh, and and see growth financially? I would say uh, yes, directly. The main thing when you're doing things like that, you just have to have a designated firm that you know that you you know what they're doing, and you know you know that they're real mm -hmm. people. And you know, and you know, we're somehow all connected, and things like that. Uh, so you know, not those are not bad investments. Uh, but you, know, you have, you know, Ghana is the gold country, so you have things that are going on. I've just never had a whole bunch of experience, but I usually have good people that help people do consultation mm -hmm. and be clear about what they get themselves into, uh, because it's you know, it's a tricky situation. Um, you know, and yes, maybe I'll do it through you if you if you get those um, forms and because you would know more about what I, what how to guide me through all of this. Yeah, what I provide people with is with a consultant and you know people that I, you know, I trust dearly and people that we have worked with, and yeah, you know, and we just work together and figure things out. But yeah, those things uh takes a little more of you just be yes about certain things, um, but. Yeah. How much one one need to uh, need to um put to in to start to invest um each time like each month if you want to to let to make a turnover uh, make a turnover growth. 
Uh, don't let me uh, lie to you. You know, um, the best thing I'm always telling people to do is like, you know, when you're trying to invest or do anything, just do it on a small scale, very small scale. I'm not yes. saying if you lose one dollar or a thousand dollars, that's you losing money regardless. So I, you know, I do understand that, but it's uh, <laughs> you don't, you don't, you, you you just end up just getting too many calls, and you know, you, I, you know, you can't do anything for people. But I would, you know, I would talk with you and things like that. And so right. the last calls I got was from a person from Senegal and things like okay. that. So I'm always telling people this, it's, you know, all of us trying, a lot of us trying to figure it out so we can help each other better, but it's just yeah. when you start doing with, um, with, with goals and minerals and things like that, it's just, it's, tricky. it's a tricky situation, right, right. I do want to help people, but I don't want to steer anyone wrong and things like that, but you really just have to be prepared to be in the country and settled on the ground with the, you know, with the attorney and with the consultant and, you know, right. a serious program on what you're really trying to do. Yeah, maybe, maybe, if maybe look into that and then it, let me know uh, um, before I make that, that type of move in, yeah. in that direction. That's what I'm saying. You have to be willing to come to the country and do those things. Um, but you don't oh. have a presentation ready. But I mean, we always have people that are consulting and, you know, and okay. we have to find a new set. And we do have one or two lawyers from the ones that's remaining. Um, okay. You know, we can always just you know get you connected. So that's how we're connected. It's not something that I would work on personally, but you know, I just usually try to work with people that we have good track record with and we can keep accountable. That's the best way I can say on doing business in Africa because other than that, it's not like I can come find you because you have a postal address and you, you know and you have locations and things. It's, so people can do slippery stuff. So that's that's the best you try and do is just give best um yeah. counsel on those situations. That's why we do these uh, kind of journeys or share whatever information because at least you get a feel of the country. True. True. Thank you so much. Uh, absolutely. But, uh, you know, you and I can definitely talk and, you know, and uh, you know, I'll do my best to work anything out for you and we can just, you know, build it up from there. Yes, definitely. All right. Bless. <laughs> absolutely. Uh, it's, this is Tia Baker. How are you? Greetings, Tia. How are you? I'm doing well, thank you. So I wanted to ask about the payment plan. Obviously, I've missed some payments, so I wanted to know how that works. And then did I hear you say that it's too late to for you to purchase the ticket, or did I mishear that? Um, I was given a scenario, uh, situations, and it, it varies from country to country and situations. Uh, I'll always do my best if I can't uh, add it to our group booking or work out a ticket in the uh, booking situation. I would always, you know, get on the phone or get on the computer with you, and then we'll find the best route for you, uh, even if it's not with our group, and then you know, work it out. Because once things come in closer to the end, like, you know, you hear me talk about people coming on one or two days before we travel and things like that. Um, people do things like that, but I just have to usually just give a scenario. Uh, so the people who come at the last and things like that, they're usually subject to where things may, maybe a hotel is filled up, or maybe they have to get uh, a room on a higher floor. It, it could be any situation. Uh, so just always recommend everyone just commit early and let us do what we're doing and create everything and just kind of build it up. And if, if some people just have to do it at the later time, then you know we'll definitely work with you. But you can always just commit and then just pace yourself. Uh, the schedule you see on the general terms is more of trying to answer one of the more popular questions um, to give a layout of a recommendation of how they can go from one, from you know, the 12 month mark to the two month mark, as far as just if they wanted to start a year. And so that's that's what those figures are. But uh, none of those things are set in stone because you just have to be flexible to deal with all situations. Okay, all right. So is this considered late or early? To start? <laughs> uh, it's, uh, it's, it's not early and it's uh, definitely not late, but it's a uh, prime time to you know, get- okay. Because by the time November, December comes around, it's January, and then we just yeah. start getting more done. Okay. Uh, it's um, definitely not uh, late. So I was just say just uh, pace yourself, and uh, we'll get it done. And, you know, and there's always flexible options. Thank you. Well, I'll be in touch. Thank you. Absolutely. Hi, my name is Patrice Sims. I'm new to the call. Uh, greetings. And uh, welcome to the call. Thank you. And I just want to piggyback on what Tia said. I'm interested. Um, how do I get the process started? If I don't want to wait a few weeks. I want to go ahead and do what I need to do to get it started. 
What do I do first? I have my, I already have a passport, but of course I will have to apply for the visa. Uh, yeah, so to get started, the main thing I always ask everyone to do is just, you know, to take their time and just go through the, the information that I talk about on their website to make sure that you're clear about the overview, the general terms, that tenor and things like that. Then we, we can always talk and make sure everything is clear. And then, you know, we can just get you started. But that's the, the first thing is just to make sure everything is clear. That's why I want to make sure that we have updated information on all of the, you know, from the website to all social platforms. Okay, so I'll review the website, and then should I call you directly so that we can talk yeah. and do yeah, step can, two? Yeah, if you can, uh, yes, uh, if you can actually just text me your information, uh, first and last name, and your email address, and I'll send you the uh, emails, and then, you know, we can just talk and just uh, make sure everything is good for you, and then okay. I'll just know what airport you need a flight from, so we can just make sure we just have you on a list, so we can get all flights coordinated. Okay, sounds good. Thank you. Uh, absolutely. And um, uh, if you could repeat your name again. Patrice, P-A-T-R-I-C-E, or Pat Rice. My last name is Sims. S is in Sam, Y-M-M-S. I'm in Jacksonville, Florida. Uh, Therese, uh, absolutely. Uh, so you're part of, uh, uh, are, you, are you familiar with uh, Arlene? Is that who? Arlene is my sister, Granny. Yes, she's the one that referred me to this call. Well, perfect. So that's, you know, you're in good hands, good energy. I just want to make sure. So greetings, Arlene. I'll see your name on the call. Uh, welcome to the call also. Appreciate good you. Good evening, everyone. Yeah. Uh, greetings to you. I know we've been talking about doing this for a while. Appreciate you hanging in there. We're going we're gonna to get it done this time. And well, Mali, I have a quick question. <clears throat> I, I need to have a um, portable collapsible stool. Would it be better to pack one in my suitcase or do you know if I would be able to purchase one there? Uh, yes, you'll be able to purchase one there, especially in Kumasi, uh, at the culture center, or just in Kumasi in general. And I have a few guys there that's always ready to take special orders as soon as we get to the hotel. Uh, so you'll be able to just have a collapsible stool to where you can put it in one of your check bags. Awesome, thanks. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, so you go into the land of all the culture. So for those looking for wood carvings, uh, we do have another location also in uh, the mountains, uh, but also the, the multitude of what you'll see will be in Kumasi. Most of what's created in the country is created further north. So Kumasi is a closer location. So you end up just getting a better price also. Not saying that people shouldn't shop in Accra. Uh, just saying that certain things you get a better price uh, based on craft. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so uh, thanks again, uh, Arlene, and we're going to build that energy up, and it's a perfect summer journey, so looking to find out uh, anyone from the school systems uh, want to travel with us, because uh, you know, usually people like, you know, in the South, school is out a little earlier, but, um, you know, everywhere else, you know, we have to use the July date, so it's one of the few times we have a July schedule, uh, so definitely wanted to see who we can get connected. Uh, yes, so family, the line is open. Uh, next person, just uh, unmute yourself, um, give your name, and uh, introduce yourself, and get, and then just uh, go ahead with your question. All right, uh, let me see who we have here. Or if you travel with me before and you just want to uh, share anything, uh, Sian, let me know if you want, you want like to share anything as far as those who are looking to travel with us since you have been on the last uh, journey uh, with us. Hi, Bomani. Uh, greetings, greetings uh, to you and greetings, uh, Courtney. Yes. <laughs> I have a question. Um, his mom would love to travel with us this time in July, but she lives in Jamaica. So we want to know if it's going to be a problem for her when she, we get to Amsterdam and she need a visa. So what we have to find out in that situation is we have to find out if um, if Jamaican citizens need a transit visa to Amsterdam. And then from there, we just have to get the mm -hmm. information to this, as far as what has to be applied and how, and how. So that's usually the situation. 
Okay, because I know she would, um, she would come to us from Jamaica and stay in Chicago, and then we all leave together as a group. So that's the plan, but we have to figure out that part first. She need a visa. And yes, and then um, and then work out a ticket situation. Whether she's gonna get a ticket from you know from Jamaica to Chicago or it's a better from Chicago than Jamaica. Oh, need to, need to work out. Yeah. Also, we can a, out and come up with some good game plan. Yeah, we know. We know we have it done packed. We we work together. So yeah. Anything, Courtney? No. Yeah. You sure? No. Yeah. You always have something to say. <laughs> yes, Courtney, appreciate you on the journey, man. Uh, what I was doing, I was looking through the highlights of the canopy walk and a few things I was doing. I don't know uh -huh. some people think you could just get all these videos out, but it's a lot of videos. Mm -hmm. and, you know, you know, I just remember both of you just taking your time. And you know, it's I'm always telling people that everyone looked like they're so scared to cross. And <laughs> but you see that it wasn't that bad, but that's just no. some highlights. Especially if you go back and now uh, you look at it, you just see that you, you see yourself. When you first started out, it was scary, but then the more you go further into it, it, it was okay. And if not too much of us in the middle <laughs> and you start to sw sway, then and you're good. <laughs> that's how I make sure the children get ahead because they'll literally torment you and and, and mm -hmm. like, <laughs> definitely <laughs> kind of not to shake the thing and then they still shake it, the more they'll shake it. <laughs> so that, uh, <laughs> Yeah, it was good though. I enjoyed it. All right, cool. So you know, so, we're just enjoying the memories. Yes. Well, money. Ah, uh, yes. Which day? Which day? I know. Um, would you would you try and fit in the beach? Uh, yes. While we're in Cape Coast, um, you either have to do it after the after the canopy walk, or the or basically you can do it directly after we come from the African Holocaust dungeon because from by the time we get back, say it's about two o'clock, you can go and then come back in the evening and it's the beach okay. is right there. So those okay. are the two days is this, uh, everyone that wants to go just gotta be you know, ready to just go. Um, other than that, you know how it is, you sit there and next, you know, uh, time go by. Okay. Yes. Um, one thing I realized that I would mention that we need to take extra um, towels, bad, bad towels, because they only give you one, and that's not going to work. <laughs> yeah, and also, um, you know, also washcloths and things like Wash that. Washcloths, yes. When, when people look at the list and they ask me all these things, I was like, you know, it's, you just never know uh, in some hotels. Some places, just, you just can't, you, you, you know, you just can't get a washcloth because it is, they just don't mm -hmm. use them. So yes. all your little personal things, and these things are simple to carry. So even an extra towel or, and definitely a beach towel. Yes, yeah, that's true. Because we have two check bags free anyway, so and it will be empty by the time you unload all the school supplies and everything. You have extra space. Uh, that's very nice of you. I um, appreciate uh, all the school supplies and you know, appreciate yes. doing those things. And it does it makes a difference in the, the schools and the place that we go. Really appreciate that energy. Yes, that's right. So we which which evening we can do steam fish Jamaican style. <laughs> all right uh let me see um while we're in accra and i remember that one place that we went to and that's where we went there uh that one restaurant up in the mountains yes uh, so that became a good option so if we get certain things like that that you know it may have to come from there i don't want to think i don't i don't want to blast jam rock on the recording and things like that but even if we got to kidnap a rasta chef and have him cook there for us <laughs> Uh, right there, at, uh, you know, right there, at the, the hotel. The good thing about that hotel, um, uh, MJ Grand, is mm -hmm. you can you can talk with them because I've had you know other people come in and do certain things. Oh, okay, that sounds good. That'd be nice. Yeah. That'd be nice. Yeah, because mm -hmm. uh, so those are some of the flexible options uh, working on. So um, and yeah, you know, so looking forward to this. You know, you just you just try to just come up with better ideas and things. Mm -hmm. like uh, but uh, I want to make sure that everyone always get great dining. And um, yeah, unlike, you know, maybe some of the other tours we have, you know, so you know, sometimes people see at us at restaurants all the time. So uh, Ghana was one of those situations where you had groups so big, 30 to 40 people, where it was just easier to do a buffet at uh, uh, the hotel versus going and trying to get that much people out in the evening. Sure. Uh, so all over the country, I know people see videos of us eating at all these fancy restaurants, but 
trying to get that more in Ghana where we either have people come and do certain things. Yes. So we're looking forward to um, Pram Pram to see Jerry. That food was best the best food. food. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I literally just, uh, and you know, One Africa used to be that place, um, but the, the food they, they cook at um, the Ancestral Wall is, a, in a, is exceptional. And um, it just, you know, it, it's one of those things where some places they just get it right. And that's one of the places I get it right. You know, like I literally, Usually, like I would literally like type up a menu, yes, and and send it. I don't have, I have to send a menu to them at all, and mm -hmm. even when I type up the menu to somewhere else, they still get it wrong. But they so, just get it right with no menu. I, I love it. It's just mm -hmm. it's one of the things I tell people just to go with the flow because some meals are going to be greater than others, and it's uh, it's an up and down journey. But for the most part, you know, it's more ups than anything else. Long yeah. journeys are things also. So make yeah. sure you get snacks and make sure you. No. That's true. Yeah. Relax and ready. That's true. We're we're ready. I'm I'm always ready. <laughs> Everything is all set and ready to go. All right. Well, perfect. So perfect. definitely looking forward to seeing you again, and uh, we'll work out those details and make it all work as we look into this build a nice journey, so we can just be cruising on a nice bus around the country. Oh yes. Yeah. I, I tell myself that all the time to motivate me every day. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, so uh, let me see who is here. I don't see. I, I see Bobby Harris. Uh, he's smiling at us. He got his uh, camera on and everything. You got to unmute yourself. Uh, let's try it again. He almost unmuted. And if someone else want to go, um, don't want to hold this call too long, want to close in the next few. Okay. Uh, greetings, uh, greetings, brother. How are you? I just saw your camera on. It looked like you're excited. <laughs> yes, I am. How are you doing today? Uh, yes, well, this, uh, this, you know, just getting us ready for this journey. Okay. All right. So what is needed to make this journey um, um, happen, if you will? Uh, I apologize. I haven't been up to speed. This is my first uh, interaction with it. So I was looking uh, to find out all the particulars so I can uh, uh, do my part and see if I can make this happen. Uh, yes. And the main thing is this. I just need your um, phone number, email address, and you know, first and last name. And then I'll send you the details and I'll go over it with you. And then you Okay. Can... So just tell you my name and stuff? Uh, you don't have to do it on this recorded call because it's going to be uploaded to YouTube um, and I don't want nobody harassing you. Um, okay, so what do I put it at? Uh, you can text me um, and you can text me your details. And I can okay. if you don't have it and I can also put up a flyer. Okay, all I see is um, chat, something, share and more. What do I do? What you ask? And I'm, I'm not the most computer savvy guy at all dude so you have to guide me through it and i can better understand and, and do my part to make it happen now i was just saying uh, you can text me your information that's a regular text message and that's my phone okay number. do i i don't have your phone number sir uh yes uh, so it's uh 404 hold on let me i need to write it down or you're gonna you want to text it to me yeah, i would text it to you but i don't have your information my my phone number is area code 818 I don't want you to read off information. Okay. okay. I don't want to, you know, I, want to, I, don't, I don't want to affect your privacy. I'm fine with people calling me for crazy calls, but I want no one to do that to you. So, okay. What is your number? Uh, number is 404 931 9429. This is Bomani, huh? Bomani Tayemba. Right. Uh, driveway, warehouse at night. And then once you uh, text me those details, I'll get some uh, get two emails out to you, and then, and then we'll talk. And then uh, likewise for anyone else that's listening, uh, you can just always uh, text me your details, and I'll send you information, and we'll go through it. Uh, so let me know if anyone has have, uh, any other questions before we close. Right, so other than myself, so. I just go, so text you my information right after we get off the phone. Is that what you're saying? Uh, as for me, because I got in on, on the conversation late. 
Oh no, that's fine. Uh, most of what I talk about is this. Uh, it's a reference of information that's online. So I'm just going through this um a summary version of the details, and then everything is just gonna uh, get to him writing. So, so I got you. So um, once you text it to me, this um, give me some time. I'll and I'll work on that for you, and I'll send you the text messages and also the email. Okay. So family, Sounds good. Definitely appreciate everyone joining us on another uh, Ghana conference call. And we are set to leave uh, July 11th to the 23rd of 2024. So all the details are on our website at Africa for the Africans.org. And I'm available if you want to talk with me and go through any information. Uh, so uh, enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Uh, beautiful, beautiful Sunday, October 29th. Uh, another Zoom call. So family, everyone, have a great night. And the journey continues. Good night, Bomani. All right, Good night. thank you. Thank you. That was July 11th to the what, 23rd? Uh, yes, uh, 2024, in the middle of summer. Okay. Thank you. Absolutely, family. Take care. Bye. 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 Bye.